Pramod Mahadev is in Sri Hari Kota. He had an extremely interesting conversation with the person who's in charge of the launch at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Hari Kota. This is Mr. Rajarajan explaining to us exactly what the Aditya L1 mission launch on Saturday will look like. This is the area in Sri Harikota from where the actual magnificent launch occurs and we have the uh, director of this place. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. So this is a place called uh, where uh, thousands of people come over and we are extremely happy to see the rocket being launched in a beautiful manner. But why Sri Harikota? What is the importance of this place, sir? Yeah, it's, it's well known. Sri Harikota is situated in the east coast of India. As Earth rotates from west to east. Any vehicle, when it is going towards being launched, when a used to it mission, we are importing already a velocity. And it is somewhat near about the equator, so that so the maximum velocity that is possible and with sufficient area that is already provided. Sri Erikota is an island away from the mainland, so that gives added safety features. And we have around 44,000 acres of land, which gives a very good place to, uh, to launch a vehicle in a secured manner and in an isolated place. So we have the model of PSLV over here and uh, this has been one of, it's been coined as the workhorse yes. of uh, ISRO. So when you are launching this, is there any specificity that you take care of and uh, what kind of time period you take and what are the uh, parts in which, it, like uh, what are the engines used in it, this one? See, this is a, a 1 is to 20 model of PSLV where we, the six trap are uh, of uh, yes, nine motors, or we call this uh, motor is kept six motors, and then we have a uh, first stage of uh, PS1 of S139 solid motors. Then we have PS2 of 37.5 ton liquid stage, which is built at uh, LPSC and IPRC. Then we have a PS3 stage comes here at uh, for a third stage motor, solid motor, which is released at uh, VSSC, and then motor is cast at uh, SJC Shark. And then we have a PS4 engine here which is also a, a, a liquid engine, which is a most uh, trusted engine, which finally imports the vehicle into this. And we have a heat shield here, which gives a three meter where we can assemble, uh, house of the spacecraft. And once it crosses the atmosphere, the heat shield comes off and the spacecraft is propelled back. Here in SJC Shar, we, we, we cast both the S139 and the PS3 motor case here. And sometimes, depending upon the schedule, some of the segments of the PS0 motors, six motors has been also has been released at uh, SDS Shah. Nowadays we are taking action, all these motors are released through industries, you know, hot shell from VSC design, then comes. Once the assembly starts, usually it ranges from minimum 35 days to 50 days. In that line time span, we assemble the vehicle and make it ready, depending upon the launch pad, whether it's first launch pad or second launch pad, we assemble the vehicle.